Good morning, everybody. I hope everybody's having a fabulous Wednesday morning. Well, it's happening. The tour is over, and so now the drip feeding of information and more stuff coming out has begun. There are two videos. Make sure you watch video one first. Let's go, shall we? There's a lot to cover. Let's jump in. Let's go. Just when you think the trip is over, the, the drip feeding of the videos starts. So here we go. A video came out. They're claiming it's Megan and Harry salsa dancing. Let me tell you right now, she doesn't salsa dance, but she's wearing this outfit, the one where she's leading Harry around. You see how she's directing him by holding on to his hand? She's wearing the same outfit, so it has to have been on the same day. Now remember, the idea here is to dispel any rumors of marital problems. Look how happy we are. Look at us dancing together. We're so loved up. We're fabulous. Yeah, no. So I'm, I'm just going to let this play because I want you guys to see it. Now at the end, Megan literally grabs Harry's face and for, very forcefully puts a kiss on it. Like, come on, Harry, we have to show that we're loved up. Here we go. Coming up. It's over. She grabs him, gives him a kiss. Because remember, we have to show everybody that we're happy and in love. So here's what happened next. Megan is dancing with Harry. And this woman in the red grabs her away from Harry. Let me show that to you again in slow motion. She runs over. She grabs Megan. Harry turns around to dance with her. And no. <laughs> she pulls her over to this guy. Now, Harry continues to dance with some little kid. You see that? Now, I believe that that was done intentionally because Megan wants to dance in front of the camera to show everybody that she can dance. She's got rhythm. Look at her go. Look at me. I'm salsa dancing. Ooh. Now, on their last day, Harry and Megan went to the Petronio Alvarez Festival. That's what that says. And, of course, I translated it into English for you guys because I, you know, I want to prove to you that what I'm saying is correct. This festival was supposed to be about the music and the, you know, the fabulous culture of Colombia. And so, of course... Before Harry and Meghan get on the stage, I want to show you a snippet of what was going on. Listen to this. Harry and Megan up on stage. Megan cannot keep her hands off of Harry. As you see, she has to touch his arm and it looks like they're being gifted things. And I want you also to notice that they are standing in front of children. And you're going to see that again in a second because the kids look, look at their faces. The kids look completely uninterested and quite frankly, bored. It's obvious that Harry was taught a few conversational phrases like Megan was, and he attempts to say thank you. So listen. Buenas noches, Colombia. Muchos, muchas gracias. You know, that's what Harry wanted, the stardom, the adulation, the clapping, the adornment. The kids look bored. And two seconds after he started talking, he handed the mic over because he couldn't remember what he had tried to say. So he hands the mic to Megan, who then goes on with her rehearsed, you know, thank you, we had such a great time. The same typical stuff she said at every time she's opened her mouth, actually. Thank you to Harry's Gray Suit for pointing out that Megan did wear 10 outfits in four days, and I'm still not sure why they were in Colombia. But a big thank you to Remy Lod Sauce for showing us the outfits. 
I mean, guys, I'm being absolutely very serious about this. What was the point of this trip? Megan did say it was a vacation and she was so relaxed and everything was so fabulous. So they went to Columbia for a free vacation. What exactly did they accomplish on this trip? Other than St. Harry's UK security, you know, saying that the UK is too dangerous by going to Columbia, he just sunk his case. Now, I've told you guys repeatedly all during the time I was covering the tour that Megan does not speak Spanish. And of course, a blind item came out pointing out that everything I said was correct, that uh, Megan only memorized the lines of this language, that people even asked her, why aren't you responding to questions? You never saw one back or forth discussion with her with anybody in Spanish. Well, exactly what I said. And then another blind item popped up. Remember, Harper's Bazaar went with them this time instead of People Magazine. But that magazine, according to this blind item, is complaining about the price gouging in the photos with Megan. And now they've been told, you know what? You're not coming on any more tours with us. I don't think at this point that they care. Now, really quickly, there was a lot of talk that Megan wanted to go to an emerald mine that's there because she wanted an emerald ring to match, you know, Catherine's sapphire ring. We've heard this story a gazillion times. We don't know if she went or not. Guess we'll see if a ring shows up. In the meantime, it was becoming pretty obvious that the vice president was getting kind of sick of Megan. Video popped up online at this event where if you just watch the vice president's face as she's, you know, as Megan is greeting people and like Megan's courting people, the vice president just doesn't look that impressed and doesn't look that happy with what's going on. And Megan and Harry, I, I just don't even know what to make of this interaction with the vice president. Well, then the next video popped up that showed Megan hugging the vice president's husband and him giving her a smooch on the cheek. Look what happened here. That happened. The vice president saw it. She was going to block, but then the handshake happened. And then the vice president literally blocked Megan from going anywhere near her partner. I mean, I'm telling you, it's like she saw what the heck was going on and she was unimpressed. We've all heard the yacht girl, you know, rumors. And I think the vice president at this point was just like, keep your hands off my man. All right, you guys, you know what to do. Hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the bell for all notifications. Leave your comments and then go down into the description box and find the link to part two of this video and follow me over. Let's go.